this is Dr. Janet Bruno, and today I want to talk about one particular vegetable. And it's a vegetable that's commonly being referred to as a health superstar. And that vegetable is garlic. Now garlic is one vegetable which many people would love to hate. After all, the breath-killing powers of garlic are well known. And garlic also has superstitions associated with the spirit world. But despite that, there is tremendous, tremendous health benefits. And many people don't like garlic initially because of the odor. Let me say one thing about that. Although the odor comes from sulfur gas, it is precisely this sulfur content that is credited with the elimination of toxins from the human body, particularly in blood and lymph nodes. So it's actually a very good thing. Now, given the fact that garlic has been used for centuries, garlic haters are well advised to just learn to love it. And there's a reason why. Scientific evidence strongly supports that garlic is something everyone can benefit from. A study done in 2009 showed that among all the vegetables tested, the superstar, as far as cancer killing, was garlic. Basically, the study tested the observed effect of several different vegetables on the reproduction and growth of cancer cells. Water was used as a base, which of course had absolutely no effect on cancer cell reproduction. On the other hand, doing the scientific studies testing certain uh, substances, garlic was ranked consistently high against the many different cancers covered in the study, always being in the top third of all the tests. It was actually the number one agent against breast cancer and brain cancer. And the study also showed that for these two cancers, garlic consumption actually was found to stop the cancer cell death. Now this is something that is, has been repeated. It's definitely something that the, the medical field is investigating. What has even been more impressive was that garlic had absolutely no effect on normal cells. So it was extremely potent against the bad cancer cells, but the normal cells was left un were left untouched, which is a very good thing. So like I said, me medicine is investigating this. This is just something that's been found in many times. Of course, if you have cancer, work with your physician. But just understand, there may be some strong anti-cancer properties naturally found in garlic. So before this study I just mentioned, there was actually seven other publications that showed that the amount of raw or cooked garlic consumed by population correlated inversely to the risk of stomach or colorectal cancer. So if you have a lot of garlic, you have a less of a chance of getting stomach or colorectal cancer. All these seven studies showed that the more garlic consumed, the lower the risk of stomach and colorectal cancer. And with these particular studies, the anti-cancer properties of garlic were very well confirmed and much to the chagrin of the anti-garlic squad. But there's lots of health benefits of garlic that have been proven. Now had this anti-cancer benefit been the only benefit of garlic, it would have still been enough to recommend it as a highly integral part of a healthy diet. But it doesn't stop there. Because there's antibacterial and antimicrobial properties of garlic are very well known. Several studies have shown that the effect of garlic on bacteria is almost as potent as antibiotics like penicillin, streptomycin, and erythromycin among others. In fact, if you go back historically, garlic has been known as the Russian penicillin because of the penchant for using garlic to treat skin infections, such as pimples or infected wounds. And for women, garlic consumption has been found to be extremely beneficial in treating candida, which is a fungal infection that affects women, as well as men. So there's been many different health benefits of garlic. And the wonder vegetable, if I call garlic that, actually doesn't stop there. Garlic consumption has also been proven to be excellent at helping to lower blood pressure. And people that have hypertension have found good results by regular consumption of garlic. Some studies have shown that raw garlic works best for lowering blood pressure, 
with as little as a daily consumption of three cloves producing good results. The same garlic consumption also reduces total blood cholesterol levels, providing an increase in the HDL, which is the good cholesterol. And furthermore, garlic possesses some anticoagulant properties which help protect against blood clots that are known to cause strokes. Now certainly all of these benefits have not been rigorously scientifically proven. They've been anecdotally found and there's been more and more research done on this because it's a very exciting area. Certainly you want to run all of this by your doctor if you have high blood pressure or if you have any of these conditions, tell your doctor that you're starting to incorporate garlic into your diet. So then the doctor can actually very closely watch you and maybe you may actually be able to get a little bit less medications that are necessary. So as an example, if you can find a way for garlic to help you naturally lower blood pressure, that would be a wonderful thing. So bottom line, really it's a good thing to learn to love garlic and make it a part of your daily meals. After all, putting aside the garlic breath, it's actually a very delicious addition to any meal. Garlic supplements do have benefits as well, but most studies have shown that the raw or cooked garlic works best. So go on and indulge. Reap all the wonderful benefits that garlic consumption can bring. And it's a wonderful, tasty addition to so many meals. So when all things are said and done, if you just chew on a sprig of parsley, you can get all the benefits without having the, the, the notable garlic breath. So I hope you found this useful. This is a lot of information about garlic. It's actually very exciting. This is Dr. Janet Bruno wishing you a healthy and a happy day.